What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here. Welcome back to the Viking Adventures. Let's head on in and find out what our next region is. Hopefully it's something that's a higher level than 20 because I have uh, grossly outclassed all the content. And I know the next stream that we do, I think we're actually going for Excalibur on the next stream. And so as ridiculous as I already am, if we were to add Excalibur on top of all that, I am going to be... Uh, bordering on a spot where I am basically too OP for the story content. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridge Shire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Birna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. I wonder if I need to, like, add her into my crew. Assuming this will advance the, uh... Like, we're fast-forwarding quite a bit here. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king. But that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbert, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now calls us friend. To the south, Soma Yalt's corner, and the Danes of Granderbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You see to yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he would celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon, and to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return all right. and relieve us of you! Shut the fuck up, Dag. And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! This guy, this guy's gotta go. You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough, but it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open, and I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it, and I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? <laughs> Too many. Now come, the battle roars already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. You're like Dag's gonna me... betray us. Now get to murder him. A lengthy load. The Wolfga. So glad to see you. Single 
lot of crits. It's kind of hard to see exactly how much I'm doing, but this is a great opportunity to do that longsword test I want to do. I'm getting like consistent 30s, it looks like. There we go. These guys all look pretty similar. I can probably get a good 32, 32. See, I get on the, the one follow-up, I'm getting a, a double hit. seeing 32 pretty consistently just stop doing this real fast i'm seeing 28 i'll take care of that asshole really guy actually change it because I was in combat. Yeah, basically it's it's hard to tell if the double is really worth it. Might be better off doing a uh, axe in the offhand. Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Gidland. Are there none left alive to spill the secrets? We may never know why. Here is one. <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find an ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from, and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound, scratching your ass in search of silver. Put an end to this one. Your silence earns you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more, who sent you? The wind sent us, and the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor. Give it to him. Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Hmm. He did spit at me. But I like Ranvi more than, uh, other guy. Hmm. Um. Go and do not return. I thank you. This is not mercy. It is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. He will find... God damn it, Dag. To show mercy would endanger us. Soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. 
We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, you will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Yeah, Dag's gotta go. Right over there. Keep them out of your way when you aren't using them. <laughs> Actually, a very good idea. That's good to hear. Things are going well. We're going to do that, but first I'm going to do a little bit of uh, maintenance. What is this icon? Is it, do I have... I don't know what the... Oh, I'm like, why are you like this? <laughs> why are you glowing? Um... What's I about to do? Skills. So, we picked up sprint attack. Recon. We picked up backstab. Advanced assassination could be useful. It's not like needed. Um, I don't have enough to like shoot over and see another tree. I know up here there's like bow finisher, but that's a good ways out. Oh no, we didn't get backstab, so let's get backstab. And we'll do poison, and I think this is predator stuff. Yeah, guided arrow. I have no interest in that. But we might go up here and see what this has with our next four. Show me what lies ahead. I'm just going to start upgrading buildings indiscriminately, like everything. Oh, yeah, legendary animal sounds cool. Let's get that up. I get a cool bow or something from it. Cool weapon. The animal fights in the game are actually pretty weird. Thank like, you for this. With a fur meat. And if you intend to go. Aye. In all. I'll keep that. Eivor. I do like your weapon. Rookies. You are not a bolster. Yeah, if you win. If you def. A good idea. Oh, and before. Go ahead. For the past few evenings, I've heard the unchecked they will ravage the wild game in this. You feel I would eliminate a good idea. Good. This way. Oh. I last saw them prowling around just up the hill. You lead. Well, I'll let's follow. Do this real fast. The last time I did a quest from this Our area, it gave me a free quest. A nice spot. Beautiful terrain, and the animals here are healthy and populous. But wolves are a worry. It may be why the Ragnarsons moved on. Pointed assassination the damage. Are a worry. Yeah. It may be why the Ragnus. Let me look at some other stuff real fast. I already got you. It's the Sears Hut. Grain farm is feast buff. The tattoo shop. We'll do the tattoo the shop when I get back. It may be why the Ragnusons moved on. Humans upset the balance of nature, and nature pushed back. By attacking us. A wolf will do whatever it takes. They were displaced. Now they come to our door. Look here. Breadcrumbs and crusts. They must have stolen something from Tarbin's store, or off a table somewhere. You saw breadcrumbs from where you stood. They stand out clearly from the soil and grass. See there? Come. This way. Ah, smell that. That's a male wolf, marking his territory, warding off the competition. How do you know it's a male? A different odor. You pick it up. How did you come to be such a skilled tracker? My family were hunters and trackers. From further east than you've ever seen, I imagine. But I've lived in England for most of my life. This is where we found Wallace. You two are siblings, as Sigurd and I are siblings. Bound by honor. 
Not blunt. Yes. To hear my mother tell it, we came upon Wallace abandoned. A babe in the woods. We took him in. Look. The wolves made a kill here. They're in the area. Those... Tra those trails. They must have dragged the poor beast away. We're getting closer. Ah, see those teeth marks on the carcass? They're different. This is the pack's doing, not just one. That's right. Let's go on. How many wolves so your are we about family to fight? Found Wallace in the woods. We were traveling through the forest when I spotted a white elk ahead of us. I chased it, hoping. I chased it, hoping to take it down. I lost it as I came to a clearing. And there on the ground was a wee babe. Our little Wallace, swaddled and alone. Ah, look at that. The pattern on the grass. They slept here. I'm impressed, Petra. You have a raw skill. You have seen nothing just yet. So you saw a white elk, and that led you to Wallace. That's right. It felt fated. We took him in and nursed him back to health. I was scarcely more than a toddler myself then. And from that day forward, we were raised as brother and sister. I hate escort quests like this. Mm. They're so damn slow. These kills are fresh. They're likely near enough to hear us. Probably fled the scene not long ago. Ah! Help! I think we found our wolves. You there. Get your cover. Evil, with me. Let's end this. Why are you auto shooting, bro? I'm at your side. should be all of them oh thank you thank you so much both are you all right were those your sheep they were god take them they were all i had in the world poor blighters never stood a chance i lost my cows some months back now the sheep are gone frowny jesus what sort of farmer am i i'm sorry for your loss with the wolves gone you can recover in peace not without the blessings of god i won't but i shall try you have your life, farmer. With that alone, you can always rebuild. Ava, hold. I hear something. What? I don't hear it. Oh, oh goodness gracious me! Felix! Rosemary! My beauties! You're alive! Come here, my precious angels! Well, that worked out. This was grand, Eivor. You hunt almost as well as you fight. Give me a few weeks, I'll learn to track as well as you. Or better. I would be happy to be so humbled. This was a joy, Petra. Do not hesitate to call on me the next time you spot any errant beasts. You were the first on my list, Eivor. See you soon. Alright. Now let's warp back. Like to reorg or no nah. dag's not even in the crew otherwise I'd drop his ass out done I must take my Finally upgrade this tattoo shop. 
I actually haven't done like any changes to the appearance, the tattoos, anything like that. Raise my burrow level. I think everything that's left is uh, feast buff type stuff. Grain farm, Midas house, Carrie's house. Yeah, it's all. Oh, thank you, Ape. Pretty sure. Bakery is feast buff. Let me go check the hunter's hut real fast. I wonder if they like they have quests for legendaries or if it's like I show up and turn in pelts and that's how it works. Happy to say I've refreshed my stocks. May I see your store? Wrong cover, elk of bloody peaks, black shulk, bear of blue waters. Done. I brought Get my rewards. I could really use this. Excellent. Or like a deliver everything I have type deal. Just, I can partially do you that. Always have need for this. Good. This will help the settlement. Art, Raven, Black Bear. Well for this. Kinds of stuff. Done for now. I have to hope to see oh, you again. Got a soon. bunch of XP for that. It's nice. Alright, now let's check out the tattoos. Ah, hey my boy. Dove and I have some new designs. I would like to see what all right, tattoo and barber. Okay. That's a tattoo. Let's go to the hair first. I like the blonde hair. Beard. What do I have right now? That. So I could braid the beard. Long scraggly beard, longer beard, longer beard. Kind of like the braid. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm feeling the shorter braid. Axe on our back. Mangundar, the serpent. Edo. That all for now. I'm so long. Right, and uh, what else do they have here? Codex, plants, contracts, kill, settlement five. That's right, I was busy looking at uh, the other upgrades. Deer's hut, feast buff, feast buff, feast buff, feast buff, feast buff. So everything, everything else is pretty much just the feast buff, which I haven't even done the feast yet. I haven't had, I mean, the whole point of it is like you, you take it before you go after something challenging, but my guy is so strong that it's pointless. Good. Chill, Bert. Are you well? I am, but I wish I could have risen to the challenge put before us, instead of just hiding here in the longhouse. You are exactly where you needed to be, defending the people and yourself. I know. I just... Our forces outside were sufficient, and your father would have many unkind words for me if anything had happened to you. I know. I only wish my father's long shadow didn't darken my prospects here. I want to learn from you, not watch you. I have no doubt. Next time, then. Eivor, you're back. Good day, Eivor. 
Word of our growing settlement has reached outside ears. So have a look around. You may see a few new faces. I want to see the Alliance. Alright, so what do we got on deck? Uh, London, 90. Let me get an upgrade. 80. 50. I should knock out East Anglia. Those Dane invaders. They came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. We'll make the trip east then. Speak to this Finnia myself. A good plan. I'm almost positive that the East Anglia stuff is the stuff that I had a chance to preview back when they gave us like the two hours to play the game. I recognized uh, when I was going around for treasure and stuff, I recognized the town that was over there. Um, Out to East Anglia we go. I'm half tempted to pick up some of this gear. But like, I'm pretty kitted on the gear. You know, I haven't done one of these before. Let's do that. I'm do th I, I want to... No, no, let me do the quest. Do the quest. I need to do the quest. This is the problem. Is like... To be honest with y'all, I am enjoying my streams of this way more than I am uh, the recording. Not that the recording is like bad or anything, but I just find myself having a lot more fun just wandering the world like i mean there's a story here sure like it seems like it's not a bad story i'm not particularly drawn into it but just exploring this world and looking for treasures and side activities i'm having way more fun doing that than i am trying to find the stories and, and make allies and whatnot and so it's like I, I get these episodes and you know i do the streams and then it's within three hours i have completely blown past where i'm at in terms of story and now I'm like, okay, I really need to to catch up, you know. So I know that I'm sure there's like some really badass raids and stuff that's pretty late that I'll be able to do. Like I know East Anglia leads to a pretty cool siege. What? What's happening? In here. No, not unless Hafton sent you. I sent myself. I want to speak with Finia, the steward who should be working to put a king on that throne. Oh, you're in luck then, for I have found the man already. I'm only waiting on him to get married. All the textures in the corner there. Which man? Oh, you know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim. Drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attack my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. I killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who can't keep the Danes in line. You're not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the ass and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage. No army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. 
He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl. Made it clear. Who wants a Saxon king married to a Dane? For a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft. And the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh, how nice to have a home to speak of, man. Mine was burned to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together. Not a part. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king. So I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I'm not in the habit of killing kings. But I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan. A beard by goes a through my armor. Kind of disappointing. They've been sacking farms and hamlets across East Anglia for some time now. Growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Halfton's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well. And I'm here to see that it doesn't happen again. Lately, I've come to learn that you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all the Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear, isn't it? Who else, if not a king, should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Just teleported Elman off my, my wolf, I think. My marriage to the Dane woman, Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. So what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. So that's, that's it? There's no more dialogue? I think I bugged something out going into auto-follow. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There's smoke ahead. That's Beatley. This place is heavily guarded. Have a look, Sunin. Now you pay! Oh! Beatley, you gotta be careful. You just got caught in battle there. But just to make it a little more interesting. Shit. 
have to restart the game. Skill everybody in the world. Wait, didn't I get... I thought I picked up the uh, hand swap skill, but I'm not seeing my weapons up around. Yeah, I must have swapped them and then never swapped them back. So that one's 122, and you are 109. I do like this one more, though. I mean, after a finisher, so building up to an extra 20 critical damage, that sounds really nice compared to uh, an extra 15 light damage, personally. Yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now, and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. I'd be happy to join you. Tell me when and where. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. over there so I can pick up some iron. seeming town. This Oswald has done well for himself. It's not the merchant's house. <laughs> Hello and welcome. You never know when this Ooh, might come in handy. Nickel. Nickel's expensive as hell, though. 250 a pop. I have titanium as well. Always use iron. Seems like you're expecting trouble. Titanium? Not that bad. I'll buy five of these. I'll buy the three nickel. No, I can get plenty of nickel just Anything raiding else? and stuff. Damn, so much iron. You're at what? You're three away from max. So we need two more to get caught up to that. But you're getting seven attack per upgrade and six or 122. Seven puts you up to that, and then another seven would put you ahead of it. I need to start finding, like, the, the nice rings. Max. Three missing, three missing. These need, like, tier, tier upgrades. Oh, well, we can... Uh, I don't know. I need to save my, my mats. Um, since the thing's at night, we are going to meditate. We'll change it to nighttime. And we can do the... Uh, 
Which I'm actually curious to see if that allows you to restock. Okay, you did not restock. Probably like a three day in game time or something like that. Look there. Alone Dane. Can't trust that. Lords, ladies, this is a day of peace and fraternity. I ask you here to Elmenham to offer my thanks and extend my generosity. Been here, our steward, to our guests of honor, Brothir and Broda, and to my lovely bride to be, Valdis. You get to plow our sister because Halfton commands it. But you won't drag us into bed with you, you hear? Uh, bro, dear, that the is... last Saxon king we backed wasn't half as mushy as you, and we lost 150 men protecting his maggoty arse. Bro, dear. If you're going to be rude, then I must ask you to leave. This is my home. I won't be insulted here. <laughs> is that why you've come? To back this thane who smells of goat shit and cheap pebbles? <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say something? Do I bore you, Wolfkist? I'm here to protect my clan. If that means helping your king secure his throne, well, so be it. <laughs> You'd be safer crowned with the throne. It's made of less wood than, uh, this one. We'd all be safer if you had the stones to stand up to Ruid's clan. Between the pair of you, I can't see a single nugget. You watch your tongue, Wolfkist, or you'll find it freed of your face! So... Easily wounded by words. Imagine the ruin my axe would inflict on your blessed ego. My Damn. blessed what? Please stop this. You heard me. That's it. Oh man, I'm not good at the boxing matches. Limp, weak, soft. No, what? Oh, shit, the grab. Ridiculous. Absurd. No, shit, I parried one. This is no way to No, damn it. Get my stamina back. This is not how we settle disputes in East Anglia. Brother, stop this one and thump your horses. Oh, you little bitch. Calm yourself. The hell, stop dodging everything. I think I can uppercut him. That looked like an uppercut. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a gut punch. Except it's slow as shit and he can easily dodge it. My parries do some damage. I need to parry more in these these Stop. boxing fights. All of you, that's enough fun for tonight. If that's all you've got, it's little wonder East Anglia is in the state it is. You are weak, sheep herder. Your Norse friend here can't change that. We are better off without a king. I feel like she actually well, does like that's him. That's me, done. I think I prefer dream nonsense to these alehouse brawls. What a waste of time and good mead. These brothers will never back me in my claim. This dance is just beginning, Oswald. Get some rest. You'll need your energy. And uh, will I see you in the morning? We have much to discuss, I think. I will find a place to lay my head. 
And Eivor, if you can help me right this situation, you'll have a strong alliance with East Anglia. That much, I promise. Seems Oswald has set out for the day. I should have a word with him. My skill points is that. Or four. Okay, four is enough that I can go up here, see what we got. Rush with a death. Slow time on dodge. That one could be useful. I mean, I parry more than anything, but I do dodge the, the red attacks, and then I think this chains over towards the backflip. Um... Melee damage, evasion, assassination ability. Let me... I go this way. I'm getting melee, light, stun, evade, assassination ability. Right. Stealth, melee, and evasion. And ranged melee crit chance ability. I mean, melee crit chance 2%. Yeah, I think this makes sense. Poison buildup is kind of a waste. No, there's a bear bonus over here. Pick up that. Pick up the stun. We'll go this way. So one, two, three, four, four levels and I got it. Clear the mess in the longhouse and wake my brothers with the coldest water you can find. Eivor! Good to see you! You are Oswald's powerful bride-to-be. Baldus. I'm not his. This marriage is to be an alliance. Nothing more. Besides, the man can barely carry a sword or speak with conviction. Oswald is many things, but a gifted leader, he is not. Still, of everyone I've met here, he is the only one willing to be responsible for the place. I will leave you to your day. You can find Oswald by the docks. And watching the river calms him, apparently. Uh, maybe she, uh, she likes him less than I thought. Stretch your wings, Suda. Ah, good morning. Up bright and early. You can labor like a thrall, but you're no good with feasts. Not a good start for a king. No, indeed. I find a solitary comfort in my menial labors. Not something a king should admit to, I suppose. The brothers shamed you at dinner. It's your duty to answer their insults. Don't let the matter lay unresolved. Oh, it was a petty row with henhouse wolves. I'd sooner answer the move a cow than worry about their insults. I have a wedding to plan and a kingdom to save. I haven't time to suffer fools. They betrayed your hospitality, Oswald. Where I'm from, that's a grave insult. Well, well. Here's the mud-soaked Saxon who's been taxing my patience. Ah, uh, Steward Finnair. I know I failed to impress at dinner yesterday eve, but fear not, the Danes will come around in time. You stay claim to the throne, you dazed dog with no bone. If Lord Halfdown were here, he'd squeeze ale from a stone. Yelling, Finner, my dranger, stick this cur in the ground. All mewling and spitting, here's Finnir the hound. He has bark, but no bite. Just a puppy I've found. <laughs> what just happened? That is flighting, Oswald. Using rhyme and rhythm to lay a man flat. Try it. Match his verse. There's no man you can lead, you dunce of the thirds. Um, 
A glutton you are. Just stop eating your words. Not bad. Not bad. He's got the wit of a boar, so when he insults you, make him feel stupid. When I'm done with you, cur, you'll be raven flock food. But your brain's soaked in mead, and your head's made of wood. Wood! Head's made of wood! He's an ugly puss, so when he brags, hit him back with something about his looks. I hail from the north, where the winters are seasoned. But you're foul. You're a blister. You're a... a... Plague-ridden lesion. Oh, yes, that's very good. Plague-ridden lesion. Under all that tough posturing is a sniveling boy, so dig deep. When he brags, take a jab at his manhood. I've sailed squalls and north winds. You, not even a breeze. But the winds that you sail blow between both your knees. Blow between both your... Oh, you mean farting. <laughs> He's so... Oh, my boy. oh God. Useless without your raven. This one's wrong for the throne. He's too soft and too tame. Hit him back and make it personal. Attack his mother. <laughs> when you crawl from the womb, you are ugly and lame. Your poor mother, she fainted away from the shame. Damn. Well spoken. Before sword clash and blood flow, we destroy our enemies with well tamped words. You have a talent for verse, I'll give you that. But how long will that silver tongue hold up against an iron axe? Let's find out, Finir. I challenge you to a home game. You don't mean that, Oswald. As a fight to settle disputes, no? A home game. A fight to the death, yes. Let's talk it out, then. <laughs> it's too late. The challenge has been made. But a fight against Finnia wouldn't be anything to boast about. You'll fight me. Hold on. This is... That said, I shouldn't be seen killing a Saxon in the streets of Elmenham. There's a nice islet down river, near Seahenge. Water will wash the blood clean away. Prepare the square, and we'll meet you there. I hope you're ready. Oh, I have to be. Just give me a moment to mentally prepare. Do not make us wait long. It would not be kingly. Wait. I mean, I can't possibly fight this dude to death. He would absolutely get destroyed. Up north. I want to do this. Um, get out of the city first. I was debating on crossing the river so that I'm not stuck on uh, city roads. Should get going pretty fast once I'm out of the city, though. I think we have time to figure out what the the plan is with this mission before we wrap up this episode. Peter on me now. I needed those seal tails, they were important. Hmm. 
I want to try something. I heard you can throw oil in the water and catch like 10 fish with it. I'll try that out. You made it. Now tussle with care and go easy on a future king. He's the only man left who can claim the crown. <sighs> Done. You've still got the touch for drawing the square. I've been in East Anglia many summers now. I'll always be a Dane. Must we do this, Eivor? Strength and courage are always a boon, Oswald. You'll need both if you want the Danes to accept you as king. True strength comes from resolve, Eivor. It speaks to us, a stern voice from within. I've never heard of talking guts, but a swift axe would silence that inner voice in seconds. You must be prepared. Wait, you're unarmed. And you should thank your guard that I am. <laughs> we'll forge your king out of you yet. Don't hold back. <laughs> you felt that one. I'm still here. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Expect the Danes to follow this poor belly? I'm. I'm still breathing, aren't I? Show me what you can do, Saxon. Shit out of him. But you've shown us something, Oswald. Stay down, Oswald. That's enough. I will. I will not stay down. You fought bravely, not with great skill, but with spirit and courage. Always push back with everything you have, even if you have to get dirty, even if you must break the rules, because there are no rules. Not if you answer a challenge head on. That's where honor lies. Not winning the fight, but living through it. A seaside brawl won't change the brothers' minds. Oswald must show results. Redress old wrongs. Fight back against Ruid and his men. The raiders who attacked Beatley have a camp down the coast. The sooner we remove them, the better. That would go a long way to building you up. And if you brought gifts for the brothers, spoils from the raid, they'd be in your debt. Time to wet your blade, Oswald. I'm literally going to have to destroy an entire army Eivor, for this guy. I expect your long ship. This place real fast. No one has been willing to take a stand against Ruid's clan before. We're a kingdom of farmers and merchants. Even farmers and merchants can fight when led by the right person. I hope your faith in pig farmers is not misplaced, Abel. There is work to do, yes, but we will rise to meet Ruid's clan. God will make certain of it. Some sort of armed camp there. <laughs> Damn. 
Yeah, man, that's that's crazy with the upgrade where the damage begins ramping up as I get kills. Oh, that's that's fun. If I see any, I'll let you know. I'm just running around, just hitting the hitting the button to grab like loot and shit. What do you think you're doing? Ah! Uh. Listen here, you little shit. Now to kill the threats. You gotta hide him back here. I'm at a stool skier. You fight well, Oswald. Does the threat of death drive your blade further? Dag. Whatever compels you. That sack hang of on shit. to it. What's the big noise? Look for the open. Find something? There's a crate of hack silver here. More than enough to make everyone happy. We'll take it to the ship. A hard one fight. The first of many, Oswald. Have you the will to keep it up? gift to the brothers I have more than enough wealth in Elmham to widen their eyes but this will be a symbol of my commitment to our fight it's a good start take what riches you find to Norwich and send for the brothers I'll meet you there all right well seems like a Perfect time to wrap this episode up. Uh, we're heading, heading back to the town. So we'll just warp on over here. Uh, next episode, we're going to continue on with this arc. Honestly, I'm probably going to just kind of beeline and go from like story mission to story mission because I really want to get uh, pretty much past London in terms of catching up the Let's Play content to the stream content. So y'all stay tuned and I'll catch you soon with some more.